I should know this, but I'm not sure exactly when you left, you know, making documentaries and and really started doing stand-up. I started on uh, June 9th, 1969. Okay. That's pretty precise. How's that for pinpointing it? <laughs> yeah, June 9th, 1969. 1969, right. Mm-hmm. So what... And uh, prior to that, I had no... My, my father was a vaudeville comedian, song and dance man, uh-huh. juggler and all that. But he, he stopped doing it very early in his uh, life because uh, his father was an Orthodox rabbi. And uh, when he came back from California, he had a contract with the Three Stooges to do the movies with his pal Vernon Dent. Vernon Dent is the real big guy with the mustache, who was like the bad guy right. and on, on the Three Stooges and all that. And, um, and he came back just to see his family before he went out to do movies, and his father had a talk with him, and, and the kind of talk that Al Jolson had, I guess, and Eddie Canner and others, about you can't work on you know, Shabbat Friday night until Saturday night sundown. And they defied their, their fathers and became superstars. Uh-huh. And my father listened to his father and never went on stage again. Wow. So it was, it was a genetic gift mm-hmm. handed down to me from my father. I, just, I was just funny from the time I spoke and put words together. Mm-hmm. So in 1969, I had no ambition whatsoever to be a comedian, just to give you a, a little answer to your question. But um, I did have the ambition to do one television show so I could prove the skeptics later on in my life when I told them, oh, I did stand-up comedy for a year. Oh, yeah, bullshit. And then I take it out, boom, put it in the machine, and there it is. So that's what I did. I did The Tonight Show, and the next day I had $10,000 worth of job offers, and I realized I hit the mother load, Uh and I stayed in it. But I had no intention of being a comedian. I knew I was very funny, but I had no intention of doing it. Right. So that's my background. Now let's get back to 